All right. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Jean-Luc Neptune. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today for a panel discussion about the future of primary care. Uh, I greatly appreciate the invite from Matt, Matthew, and Jess, and I'm looking forward to a great discussion today. Um, I'm particularly excited to talk about primary care as a physician trained in internal medicine myself and someone who really believes passionately that the richest, most powerful country in the world has to do better in delivering health care to all our citizens. So I'm um, looking forward to this discussion today and all the many great things that we'll learn about primary care. Now, primary care is a term that we kick around a lot. I, I think people are, are very familiar using that term, but I think it may mean different things to different people. You know, what is primary care anyway? Um, and in doing uh, some of the research in the, uh, uh, in the lead up to this panel, um, I saw a couple of different concepts, including Scott's interesting notion of primary health. So maybe what we can do is get everybody a chance to start here and talk a little bit about what they think primary care is. And since Scott, I shouted you out about primary health, why don't you leave? Sure. Appreciate it, JL. Um, yeah, so we, we had the same challenge that you're describing as uh, primary care means a lot of different things to different people. And so uh, because we pl practice in a multidisciplinary team setting, we felt that primary care seemed to focus a little bit too much on the physician and maybe the nurse. And what we really felt was that a combined team is what really delivers the best outcome. So when we include now mental health, physical therapy, health coaching, fitness, uh, care navigation, those set of services, those other disciplines should be a part of this overall view. We also felt that you know, health is more descriptive of what we're going for than care, which is often medicalized. We want it to have a relationship. We want people to think about health beyond just physical health, but, you know, financial health and other types of uh, health that are really important for that whole person view. So it was our attempt to try to solve the problem you're identifying. So primary health is meant to describe that broad team oriented view of uh, health. All right. Sounds good. And, uh, you know, I hear the, the term holistic uh, either said explicitly or embedded in what you're saying. Rob, and I know that, uh, you know, this holistic concept is important to you. So what does primary care mean at uh, Parsley? You know, for us, it's uh, similar, I think, to a lot of the folks on the panel here where we needed to broaden the description of primary care and really define it a little bit better, especially in an era where 90% of our illness is chronic illness that people are living with for years, if not decades. Uh, and yet our primary care system is trying to do too many jobs, I think, as a physician and what I've seen in my training and in my experience it's trying to do urgent care and it's trying to do triage and it's trying to do medication management and referral management and also treat some of these chronic illnesses. And so for us at Parsley, holistic means two things. One, it's a longitudinal relationship where we get to know you over time and really hold that partnership with the patient. And two, it's about bringing the core drivers of most of today's top conditions, the ones that are most common and most costly uh, the, the cardiometabolic illnesses, the autoimmune illnesses, the GI, the behavioral health, all of those things are largely treatable and often reversible. If you address nutrition, mental health, lifestyle change, movement, environment on the prescription pad next to prescription drugs. And yet in my training at some top institutions that I know you and I share, Dale, uh, we did not learn how to prescribe beyond prescription drugs and prescription drugs are a key piece of this, but so are nutrition, mental health, lifestyle change, fitness, and experience, as well as a long-term relationship. Because as I said, to start, these conditions are not things that hit you on the head when you walk out your front door, largely some of them are, but mostly they're things we're living our way into. And so we had to redefine at Parsley primary care as a service that would really address the true needs of today's population. Okay, sounds good. And um, Rushika, you know, one of the things that I was really struck by in my research in Iora is the your heavy focus on humanity, right? Which I think is a very important concept as somebody who was a liberal arts undergrad who went to Columbia PNS, where a lot of these concepts were, foc uh, were focused on. Um, I, you know, I was really struck by uh, humanity and how the, the core to the Iora branding. So tell me a little bit about primary care at Iora and as it relates to humanity. Yeah, so, so JL, I think, uh, so none of this is new, right? We all think what we're doing is we 